Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make coconut shrimp. I'm also going to be uh, showing you how to make uh, sriracha tartar sauce as a dipping sauce for the coconut shrimp. Okay, we will need, I have some 1620 shrimp in here. 1620 meaning as about 16 to 20 pieces of shrimp per pound. I have a panko, it's a Japanese breadcrumbs. I have um, unsweetened um, coconut flake. I would need some eggs, coconut milk, flour, cayenne pepper, paprika, and salt. Our shrimp, it's already been uh, washed. Um, I got this shrimp, it's already been deveined. Uh, it's already been cut. So all I need is just uh, take the shell out. I'm just gonna peel about eight pieces. This should be about one serving. Just make sure you leave the tail on. One more. Okay, we have our eight shrimp. Okay. What I need is a uh, butterfly, the shrimp butterfly, I mean just cut the back, just make sure you don't go all the way, it's just like that. Cut all the way to the back. Next, I'm gonna combine the, um, the panko and the co coconut flake. So I'm just gonna need about a cup of um, the panko, Japanese breadcrumbs. Half a cup of the unsweetened um, coconut flakes. Okay, mix this up. Okay, next I'm gonna I'm gonna season the flour. I'm gonna put some salt. 
I have about a half a cup of flour. I'm gonna season a little bit of cayenne. Paprika. I don't need to put a um, ground pepper in here because I have cayenne already, so I just mix this up. Okay, next I'm gonna make my egg wash. So I have one egg. Let's crack that up. Okay, I'm just gonna add some coconut milk in here just to infuse more coconut flavor to the coconut shrimp. Okay, just squeeze this up. Okay, just like that. Okay, when you do a breading procedure, make sure you have your flour, the egg wash, and the panko mixture in sequence. Okay, um, make sure you use one hand for the wet ingredients and another hand for the dry so you would flour the shrimp and dip it with the egg, egg batter and then panko and then your other hand. Okay, just like that and then just repeat the, the process. Okay, just make sure you have a lot of the breading on the shrimp. The more breading, the crispier the shrimp gonna be. Okay, just repeat the process until the shrimp is done. Okay, our oil has been heated up to about 350 degrees. I'm gonna fry our shrimp. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do four at a time. It shouldn't take that long, maybe about a minute to a minute and a half. You don't want to overcook the shrimp. You overcook the shrimp, it's going to be a robbery. Okay, now our shrimp looks nice and golden brown. Okay, our shrimp's done. I'm gonna just transfer it to the paper towel. It's beautiful, nice and crispy. Color is nice and golden brown. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat the process. The last four shrimp. Okay, our shrimp is all fried up, it's all done. So I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. Okay, let's make the tartar sauce. Here's our ingredients. We ha I have a mayonnaise, it's about a half a cup. Finely diced onion, lemon, sugar, finely minced uh, garlic. I have some um, relish. If you don't have relish, you can use capers. 
you know, of course, the sriracha. This is only optional. If you don't want it hot, you can just not use a sriracha. Okay, what we need is about one teaspoon of the onion, about one teaspoon of the relish, about one, about a half a teaspoon of the garlic, lemon juice, sugar, and parsley. Okay, just mix this up. Okay, I'm gonna add some sriracha. Okay, if you want it spicy again, it's up to you. Let's put that to our plating. Okay. As always, I, I need some color. I like to see some color on a plate. I have already uh, put garnish with sliced lemon. And voila, this is your uh, coconut shrimp with sriracha tartar sauce. Please enjoy.